As it stands, our application is holding all of the application data inside of Redux. So if we look inside of our Redux store, logging it out with Redux Logger over here, you can see that we've got all of our currency information, the different conversions. If I go ahead, swap this, go get some more, you can see that we're putting all of this conversion information inside of our Redux store. We've also got our theme information, so on and so forth. Now, as it stands, we don't have our navigation information in Redux, and if we do, that's a pretty easy task to go ahead and do with React Navigation. So to do that, what we're going to do is actually go into the application directory, and then inside of our reducers directory, I'm going to create a new file and call this nav.js. And then in this nav.js, we're going to need to import two things. First one is going to be navigation actions, and that's coming from React Navigation. The other thing we want is our navigator, our root navigator, which we're going to access from config routes. So then we can go ahead and actually set up our reducer. So we'll just say export default, create a function that takes state and action, and then we'll go ahead and return from here. And what we'll do here is say const next state is equal to navigator.router.getState for action. And then in this get state for action, we want to pass the two parameters, the first one being the action that's being passed to this reducer. And the second one is going to be the existing state. That way we can update and kind of persist all of that information we've already got on that state. So then we can go ahead and return either the next state or if it's an action that doesn't pertain to routing at all, we don't know how to deal with it. We just want to return the existing state. Now we're not quite done here. What we want to do first is set up some initial state. So if I go ahead and just set uh, the initial state here, we want to actually go ahead and create that. And that can't just be an empty object. So what we're going to say is state for actions, just like we used before. This time though, we want to actually initialize the navigation state. And to do that, it's very easy. All we've got to say is navigation actions dot init and that'll return an action that'll go ahead and do everything we need to. Um, looks like I can't type. Fortunately, we've got ESLint, so I'm gonna change this navigate in both of these spots to navigator, and that'll take care of all of our errors. Now we wanna go ahead and actually hook up this reducer, so we'll go to our reducer slash index.js, and in here we'll say import nav from dot forward slash nav, and actually add that to our combined reducers function. The final thing we'll want to do here is actually hook up our navigator to tell it that we actually want to use our Redux store to manage all of the state. So we'll go to our application entry point and app slash, slash index.js. And in here, first thing we want to do is import add navigation helpers. And that's coming from React Navigation. We're also going to want to import React Redux. So what we're going, or we're going to want to import connect from React Redux. We'll go up to where we're importing the provider. And then if we scroll down, what we're gonna do is create a new component. And we're just gonna call this app. And that's going to be a stateless component. And in this component, we're gonna have two props. So we'll use destructuring, and then we're going to say dispatch as well as nav. So dispatch is being the dispatch for the Redux store and nav is some state we're going to set up. And from this component, what we're going to return is our, an instance of navigator. And then inside of there, we're going to pass a prop for navigation. And then we want to use the actual add navigation helpers to that. And we're going to need to pass two parameters to the add navigation helpers first argument, which is an object, and the first one is going to be dispatch, which we're passing to it via props, and we're also going to want to pass state, and that's going to be represented by nav. Now how do we get access to these things? Well, we need to connect this app component to Redux, so we'll say const app with navigation is equal to connect, and then we'll pass that app as the second. Now we need to add a map state to props function to this to actually get access to nav. And I'll do that by saying const map state to props. Okay, and that takes state as a first parameter. And then from here we can go ahead and return state. Actually we'll say nav is going to be state.nav. All right, add map state to props as the argument to the first function. And then we want to, I'll just ignore these two errors. Those are basically just telling us that those haven't been added to prop types. 
And then we'll want to add this app with navigation to our component. So we'll just replace that navigator with this new app with navigation. And I'll save it. And then if I go back to my debugger, you can see that when I go to a new screen, we successfully go to that next screen. And you can see this navigation forward slash navigate action being emitted. And then if we look inside of our Redux store, we've got nav and we're holding all of that navigation state inside of here. So with this, we're able to actually keep track of our navigation state and really just, you know, keep all of our information, have a single source of truth. And we're also able to listen to different events and maybe given a certain event, we're able to dispatch certain navigation actions. Uh, however you want to do that, it's up to you. But this is how you just go ahead and hook the two up. A quick note, if you're not already a student, I've got an entire free video course on how to build this currency converter application, which is React Native and works on both iOS and Android. Uh, that's available. I've got a link down below, but it's called React Native Basics Build a Currency Converter. It's over three hours of video. Feedback for the course has been awesome. I think it's a great course, but of course I'm a bit biased. Go ahead and check it out. Links down below. Uh, I'd love to teach you how to build this app with React Native.